If you watched yesterday's vlog, you probably have an idea that I was gonna do something weird today. One thing, one, one thing I used to do all the time when I was younger was camp out for shoes overnight. People never understood why we did it. They were just tennis shoes to people. My dad didn't even understand it, but thankfully he was still down to go camp out with me. But these days it's a little bit different. There is really no more camp outs. It's all like raffles or getting lucky online. Some people are not about it and some people just don't like doing spontaneous things like this, but I do because I like to tell stories with my vlogs and I just like to do things that a normal per person wouldn't do. So today I'm going on a four hour drive, follow me, and let's see where I go. I'm almost 100% sure I'm not gonna be spending the night here in Vegas. It really just depends on how tired I am tonight, but I'm gonna try to take a little nap later on in the day in my car, which I'm totally fine with, man. Sometimes you just gotta grind out. My first stop is the Caesar Palace Mall because I didn't bring my laptop charger. I just spent the last 45 minutes editing my vlog from yesterday, so I need to find Wi-Fi too because the Wi-Fi here sucks and I don't want to wait an hour for it to upload. You know what's funny is every single Nike these days is exactly the same in each city, and I still go to them. It's annoying as hell. To be honest with you guys, I'm not a big fan of what Nike has been doing recently. I feel like after the Kobe 8, there hasn't really been anything I've been really excited about. Jordan brand's been killing it, but Nike, I just, I said, I'm, not, I'm not interested anymore. I don't know what it is. Like the KDs were dope, the new KDs were dope, but for basketball, but other than that, like there's, there's, there's no hype. Without hype, there's no fun. As some of you guys may know, Urban Necessities here in Vegas was the first ever sneaker store to add sneakers in the Keymaster. The homie JC, you know, he's always doing crazy things. He's always envisioning crazy ideas and making them come to life. You know, one thing he did a few weeks ago is he put a very valuable sneaker in that Keymaster, and that is the Eminem Jordan 4. And that's one of the reasons why I came here is because I want to try to win that thing. That's like a fifteen to twenty thousand dollar sneaker. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't know if it's my size, but we're gonna try our luck. Let's have some fun. By the way, if your V2 fits small, take the insole out. It works. When you can't keep up. I looked at the receipt of all this shit. I bought it, babe. What are these? This is the Bape coach's jacket. New York pickups, right? Yeah, New York pickups. He's uh, invoicing me for the red one because I had set it aside and they forgot to ring me out. Shit. I think it's safe to say I went ape shit in New York. <laughs> Look at this. 2016 Space Jams. These ain't even out yet, fam. All of a sudden. Is this consignment or is it yours? The four <laughs> key masters. Two of them are a dollar and two of them are five dollars. So last time I won the dollar one. This is my last 20. I stopped going for the M&M. I just feel like that one's, it's bad luck. Ugh. Taking an L with the Keymaster today. You don't always win, you know what I'm saying? I drove out here, I wanted to get that M&M, but it just didn't feel, like I didn't, I didn't feel the vibe of it. So I tried all four machines. Sometimes you take L's. I only spent, I think I spent 40 bucks on the M&M. I spent the other 160 bucks on just random ones. Now I got a few shoes that I'm looking to get rid of, as you guys know. Slimmed down my collection a little bit, so I got a few pairs that I'm trying to shut down.
This was originally not planned, but we said, why not since I'm out here? First of all, this is amazing. This crib is beautiful, dog. You got a beautiful crib. Yeah, man, it's uh, I feel really lucky that I get to come home every day to this. Yeah. It's a great view. Hard work pays off, man. We're gonna be doing a collection video. First of all, this is not even his, his shoes. His are over here, but we're gonna do a collection video. I'm not gonna talk too much about it. You guys can go to Crew Kicks. It will be on Crew Kicks probably today or tomorrow, so. I'm gonna waste no more time and we're gonna start filming that, so. My worn pair is very, very beat. I'm happy I got these in the collection. These are pretty dope. I'll probably rock these tomorrow. Beatles, these are quickly turning into a beater pair. Paid a lot um, for them, but okay. I'm happy I got them. to JC for letting me come over and film that video dude we made a banger it's gonna be on crew kicks probably today or tomorrow like I said I had no plans to meet up with anybody here in Vegas but I, I don't know how this happened this is the weirdest and randomest thing my brother-in-law sent me a snap he's like hey are you in Vegas and I was like yeah and he's like oh are you staying with your mom and I'm like what and he's like yeah your mom and your grandma and your aunt are there so my mom my grandma and my aunt are having a vacation in Vegas and I didn't even know about it so I'm gonna go find them right now We finna go sneaker shopping, you heard me? Huh? We go buy shoes. Good book, honey. Grandma? Yeah, no sneaker shopping. Sneaker shopping with my grandma. It's currently 10.20 and I just left like 10-15 minutes ago and honestly I feel fine. I'm not tired at all. If I do feel tired, I'll pull over and grab some sunflower seeds because that keeps me awake. I need to get gas anyway. Was it worth it? That's the question. A lot of people in the comments, I already know it, are gonna be like, you're such an idiot, you wasted a whole day, you drove all the way to Vegas to mess around and blah, 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 blah. Why not? Why not be spontaneous? Why not go out there and just try something? You know what I'm saying? I came out here to try to win that Keymaster and win that expensive ass M&M. It didn't happen. I controlled myself. I only spent $200. That's a lot of money, yeah, but it's not like overboard. It wasn't like $800 to $1,000, you know what I'm saying? Me, I think it's a W. I came out with a fun trip. I got to see my mom, my grandma, my aunt. I got to film a dope ass video with JC and also hang out with him and the UN family and just talk about different things. And since it's Friday for you guys, that means that tonight at midnight is the official drop of the Space Jam inspired collection. So tonight at midnight, the pre-orders open up, so make sure you guys get your orders in before the 48 hours is up. Ugh, I'm so excited for it. Like, I'm so, literally so damn excited for it. Just ahead of time, thank you, man. Thank you to everybody who wants to rep the crew. Thank you to everybody who appreciates the design and understands that it's not just a copy or a ripoff. It's inspired by Space Jam. It's the anniversary of Space Jam. The Space Jam 11s are coming out, do you not? Some people just don't, they don't understand it. They're just so negative in life that all they say is, you copied, oh, that's a ripoff. That's such a cheap rip, like, they don't get the vibe around it, you know what I'm saying? 
And I appreciate everybody that gets the vibe. Positive energy is only gonna get you up. It's only gonna take you up in life. That's it for today's vlog. Motivation, a little bit of motivation on Friday. I have a great weekend. Pre-orders this weekend, tonight at midnight. Cop your sh I love you guys, I'm out of here. Four hour drive home.